guys, welcome back to Keith and Tyler. It's just Tyler this week. My friends have been asking me to do a sunglass haul because they know that me and Keith's collection is kind of getting out of hand. So that's what I decided to do for you today. Sunglass haul. To start things off, I thought I'd show one of my very first pairs of sunglasses. I got them when I was 17, and they are from Armani Exchange. Um, they are forever old, so don't make fun of them. But I got them in Disney World, and as you know, it's super sunny. Well, if you look on the side here, they're actually cut out where it says AX. Um, I wore them the entire week I was down there and literally came home with AX tan lines on my face. So it was tragic, but these actually have so much memory to me and I just can't part with them. So this next pair actually has another memory for me. These right here I found on my honeymoon when we went shopping in Chicago. Um, I have a very large face and it is super hard for me to find sunglasses, surprisingly, considering that we have 45 pair. But these just called to me and they're a super fun flash lens that pretty much goes with every single outfit and I just find them to be so comfortable and they're one of my favorite pairs that I wear all the time. So this next pair of sunglasses is actually from Versace. It has a really great polarized lens to it and some detailing actually on the side that I absolutely love. It's more of just a classic, fun staple that I've actually been wearing a lot recently. Um, as you can see on the side, it has the Medusa and then three rings. There's actually a collection from Versace that this matches completely that I'm dying to get the wallet. If anyone would like to know, it would be something great for my birthday, hint, hint, Keith. This pair right here brings back tons of memories. I got them probably 10 years ago and it was during Black Friday shopping. There were actually a deal when me and my cousin went to one of the outlets and I absolutely fell in love with them. When I was younger, I loved anything that would wrap around my face and or was a shield. And these are another one from Dolce & Gabbana that I have absolutely just loved and I decided to keep over all these years. Um, it has a fun emblem on the side that is cut out. So each year Ray-Ban actually puts out a brand new classic Wayfair collection. And I've collected multiple over the past couple of years. My very first one being the Camo collection. It has a nice rubber arm to it that is really flexible and it makes it feel so much better because the original Wayfair does not fit very well for my personal face. And then I also have the color blocking in the browns, which is pretty cool. Another part of the collection was the Denim Wayfair, which is pretty awesome. They come in a couple different colors of denim, but as you see, it's completely wrapped in denim. And then my final one is another one that has a pretty fun gradient lens that you normally don't see in one of the Wayfarers from their special series. And I have a pretty extensive aviator and pilot collection as well. So start off with my Ray-Ban aviators. I have this one from the Havana collection. It has the original sweat bar. Sometimes it makes me look like I have a unibrow though. And then we have the blue flash lens in 62. I'm so happy that Ray-Ban actually has sizes that are fitting my big head. You have already seen the green. Then one of the most popular, especially from the Kardashians, the all black Ray-Ban aviator. It is one of my favorites. It literally goes with everything. One of the newest ones that Keith just recently got was one of the gun medals with the blue gradient polarized lens, the brown gradient, and then the classic 1937 Ray-Ban aviator with the gold and the green lens. So now I'm gonna show you a couple of my pilot styles. So Ray-Ban is the only 
brand that is allowed to be called an aviator. Anything else that resembles an aviator is called a pilot if it's from a different brand. But one of my all-time favorites is this Gucci that has the silver mirror lens. It is such a classic Gucci and I am obsessed with it. I wore this the entire time when I went to Vegas. Also, this pair is another pilot from Gucci that I have. It's one of their all-time originals. And I think it's really fun because it has the classic Gucci stripe with that red and the green. And these are another pair of Gucci. One of my all-time favorites that I have. They actually have a rubber arm to it, which is really fun with the perforated look to it, with the classic striping as well. And then, another pair of Gucci. If you can't tell who my favorite brand is, you should know by now. These are so fun, and everyone thinks that they're so crazy, but I absolutely love the lens on this. Now that I have so many pairs of sunglasses, I am looking for things that are completely out there and that have completely different lenses or shapes that I have never had before because I have so many classics. And these are one that is one of my favorites. It has a pink lens, but it has a little bit of blue undertone. I don't know if you'll be able to see it actually in the camera, but it is awesome. And another pilot, I have Dior. These are when I want to dress up and look out of this world. They are completely out there. They have a fun white stripe that is outlining the bottom of it. Um, also with a cutout on the side, which is pretty cool. They're just something unique and different. And my most recent purchase is a new pair of Tom Ford that I'm absolutely obsessed with already, and I've had them for literally one day. These! They have a really fun different mirror. It's actually called a pink gradient mirror, which if you look on the camera, hopefully it shows, it is a silver and pink tone lens. They are so flexible, and I think that they're so fun because of how light they are. And I absolutely love them. So that was a few of the sunglasses that are in our collection. If you want to see the rest, we can get Keith to host a part two for our sunglass haul. Let us know in the comments below. Please like and subscribe and we will have our new video out every single Tuesday.